All right, guys, so here's a little bit of an off video. Uh, forgive the noise, there's so much stuff going on in the house right now. It is my daughter's uh, birthday and got a lot going on and she wants me to make her an ice cream cake. And uh, I thought I'd show you guys how I make homemade ice cream cake. It's very, very simple, very easy. It only takes three ingredients. Two of them are right here. Uh, the last ingredient I'll pull out when I'm ready to get to that. But let's just go ahead and jump right in. Again, this is very easy. You go by yourself, some ice cream sandwiches, just get the cheap stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you do, right? Just get the cheap stuff and you start peeling them. Um, I kind of give you an idea of what we're doing here. You should be able to figure this out. And we're going to start layering these in here. We're going to do a whole layer of these, right? And then uh, as soon as I get that done, I'll show you what the next step is. Okay, so as you see, we got everything layered out here. And I'm trying to do this quick because I have studio lights around and I don't want the ice cream to melt. But next, you're going to take your Cool Whip. Uh, make sure you got this all nice and neat the way you want it. And uh, basically, you're just going to apply a layer of Cool Whip down on top of all these ice cream sandwiches. It doesn't have to be, it can be messy, it doesn't matter. Just put it on there. You want to make sure, obviously, that your Cool Whip is a little, uh, a little melty there. Uh, so I left mine out for ah, about 30 minutes. And uh, it will get nice enough that you can kind of start to, you know, put it on here to shape it. Make sure these ice cream sandwiches are all together properly. And, uh, so get there like that, and I, I honestly, I do not worry about making it neat. If it spills over the sides or anything, in the end, it's not going to matter. So you just kind of slop it on there. As long as it's going to squish out, who cares? Doesn't matter. You'll see why when all said and done, why this doesn't really matter and doesn't have to be neat or anything. Because then you start another layer. So you start slapping these on together. We're going to do three layers total. If you've got two boxes of 12 that will get you three layers you're gonna do eight on each layer so I'm gonna open up some more of these and we're gonna do uh, finish this layer and do the next one and then I'll show you the the final step to make your homemade ice cream cake all right here we are the final step in this process involves just some good old cheap cookies and cream ice cream you gotta leave this out it's gotta be melty that is the only way this works is if this is melty okay you need it to be nice and melty because we're essentially going to use this as frosting. We're going to put frosting on here. Cookies and cream, delicious frosting. You can kind of break up the, the center will still be a little rougher than the edges. So you want to break it up just a little bit. You want, you want it to be melty, but you don't want it to be liquid. Because you don't want it just running all off the sides. You want it somewhat cold enough that you can still get it into the freezer and not have everything run off the sides before it refreezes. So just be aware of that. But yeah, you just want to come in here and kind of break up the, the solid center chunks and mix it with the more liquidy outside portion of this. And then, ah, there we go. You should start to get a nice kind of a mud consistency if you've left it out. I left this out at least a good 30 minutes, probably 45 minutes actually. And I did put it back in the freezer just briefly just to kind of make sure it didn't melt too much because like I said you don't want it too melty because then it just runs off the sides before it has a chance to freeze again if you do have to uh, touch it up I would save just a little bit of ice cream don't just dump the whole thing on there save a little bit put it back in your freezer maybe just I don't know leave this much much at the bottom just like I don't know that much there at the bottom so that way if uh, after it free freezes and you got any spots that come uncovered that you can uh, I'm getting ice cream all over myself Hmm, tastes good though. That's alright. Um, you can uh, kind of touch up those spots and cover them up a little bit. So, But yeah, we're just getting it to a nice mud-like consistency. Look at that, see? Nice mud-like consistency. All right? And when you get to that point, you just start putting it on. You just start slathering it on. And you're going to have a cookies and cream ice cream cake, basically is what you're going to have. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on and I'll show you the end result here, okay? All right, there we have it. There is the finished product. And look, it does not look pretty, but I guarantee you it is delicious. And your kids, or you, will absolutely love the way this tastes. You see, I've still got uh, about a third of the container left. So if I need to touch up anything, if any starts to run off before it uh, you know, hardens up again in the freezer, then I can do those touch-ups uh, before the party tomorrow. And uh, there you go. Nice, delicious cheap this cost I don't know this whole cake was probably 12 bucks 
worth of materials. Uh, God, as you can see, I buy cheap Walmart brand stuff, and it tastes delicious. So there you go. Come over here, put my top on it, throw it in the freezer overnight, and that will be good to go first thing in the morning. So that's it. That's how you make a homemade uh, ice cream cake for your kids or yourself, whatever you want to do. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later.